Hello everyone, it's Nerf the Ninja here, and I'm playing some scrolls today. Haven't made a scrolls video in a very long time, but it does not mean that I haven't been playing scrolls a lot. I am at a 2085 rating and number 23 on the ladder. Yeah, uh, haven't been that many videos recently because, as I've said, I, I'm busy. But I'm not busy from playing games, but I'm in a very bad recording situation right now, so it's hard to record. And you can expect that to continue for a little while until I get my like better setup and new computer and everything. So I'm very sorry, but videos will stay kind of slow. But I'll hope to fix that soon. So yeah, last last episode, I don't know what my rating was. It was probably like 1800 something. So yeah, really jumping up here. And I convinced Ethan, Pro321, to get scrolls. He uh, just got it like two days ago. Already played 43 matches. Pretty solid. So, I've been waiting for a ranked match here for a while. It's a pretty uh, normal occurrence for somebody high ranked. 776 users online. That number... Let's come up soon, or else Mojang has to do something. Do something to get this game more popular again. So I guess I'll just show you some of the decks I've been using. So you used to just know I use this deck. I used to use Mono Order, this, and Mono Growth. Now, I don't use either of those decks for ranked. Now my main growth deck is this, Growth Order with a Frost Scale and a Totem. Because when Decay came out, Decay has a hard time destroying structures, so these Ancestral Totems became very handy. And I just started to Rat King God Hand my way to victory. And... Well, I said I don't really play Mono Order anymore, I, I play it occasionally. Um, but right now, I play... Decay growth in ranked matches. This is what's got me so high up. Standard decay growth deck. I do a fertile soil in there. Great for late game. Only two though. But yeah. And I'm trying to build a energy deck. You see I have zero gold right now because I keep spending it all to get uh to get uh cards. It's finished, besides I need two more Sun Giants, and I'll take out these two Potion of Resistances. Besides that, it is done. It's probably going to change a lot when the update comes out. That will have, like, Machine Divinators coming, and new scrolls. So this is probably going to change. As well as the Decay Growth, because Puppet Soldier is getting nerfed so that Nutrition and some cards don't activate it. So those, those cards are definitely coming out. And I think I might go play some more Mono Order when the update comes out soon also because there's some nice cards like Tempo Theft and Wings Captain that are coming out that I think would do pretty nicely in a deck like this. Like a mini general and a mini speed. So those are the decks I've been using and I really thought after doing that I'd finally find a ranked match. It's a good idea just to like re- uh, reset the looking for thing because if you let it sit there too long the one it finds you could be somebody really different rating than you and then if you win you like get nothing and if you lose you lose like a billion so yeah another way to do that is if you've been waiting a while for this and then it finally comes up you decline it and then search for another ranked match and if it comes up soon that means that person's fine but if it doesn't come up like right away then it means that person that is not anywhere near you. Oh, I'm gonna play this person. Okay, that didn't take too long. Alright, let's see who it is. Let's see if we can get to 22 on the ranked leaderboards. Zadrim, I have no idea who you are. Well, hello to you, sir. He is growth. Oh, we got three to return to nature, so that's gonna be amazing. Okay. This is going to be exciting. Returns to natures are very good against growth.
Good luck. Okay. So I'll just kill that with the soul steel soon. Or should I... Here, I'll sack the puppet. I already sacked two puppets, not that good. But, oh well. Alright, play another like brave so I can soul steal it. I'll be... Alright. Well... It's gonna be hard to keep these return to natures in my hand for a very long time. Ooh, decay. Interesting. Oh, good. We got a... We got somebody that I like. Er. Not sure why I did that. Uh, because he has zero attack, doesn't really matter. I don't have to stay away from him. Okay. I gotta remember, I have a soul steal and three returns to nature, so... As soon as he gets a Rat King down, he can consider his board cleared. <laughs> Beautiful. You're dead to me with the Soul Steel. And sacking for more Decay. Is this some kind of like Rush deck? Like, Go Joes with a Decay? Not sure. Uh, Brain Lice, I don't like sacking Brain Lice, but these Return to Natures are so powerful. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Soul Steel. Come on. Terrible spot for the soul steal. Or no, I could just move him back. For a second I thought that there was no way for me to dodge his sister's attack. Okay. It's all good. Interesting. Okay, he oh he goes for I guess that is actually a good idea. He's splashing decay for or, uh, that. So then he can keep ramping his growth. It's interesting. Um. I'm going to. Do I kill you and then soul steal you? Or do I play the Elmire Hunter? I'll, I'll do this. Just in case you die, I'll put you next to you. In case he doesn't have the return to nature. Deja vu. Indeed. Yep. So good thing I put them right next to there. And a no ID. So that gives him more decay. Very. I haven't seen a deck like this. Okay, um... I'll be sacrificing. Oh, I bet he's running Puppet Soldier Nutrition too. So I have a growth deck that I have to watch out for Puppet Nutrition. This is going to be fun. Uh, do I sack for Decay right now? Yeah. I should probably use these soon. I just, I just wanted to get a Rat King down so badly. Come on, dude, get a Rat King down. Rat King, and then everybody dies. Or play like another sister, and I'll use one of them. Or a better Brain Lice. Okay, Rat King, Rat King. Nope. Uh. Well. I guess I'm going to be saying goodbye to one of the Return to Nature's. Because right now it's important I get some creatures in the field. Okay. I'm just going to... No, I'm not going to put them the same. Well, he's dead anyway soon. So I'm going to... Put you there so I can kill the sister wherever they go. Unless, unless he protects it. Alright, Zodra, make your move. So I wonder... Oh, there's the Rat King! Now, I wonder... Should I do the Return to Nature this turn? Oh, there's another thing I can kill with the Return to Nature. Because the thing is... If I return to Nature... 
I mean, he could have a rally and they all attack, but would that be a big deal? It's only a big deal when he has a Crimson Bowl. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on that. Ooh, what if he has a Harvester? He could have a Harvester in that deck. Uh, You know what? I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, Go like this. I'm going to bet against him having a harvester in that hand. And now I hope he plays another rack or something. Okay. Is this way I was aiming? I was, oh, he probably has a veteran or something. Yeah, here comes the veteran. Okay. Well, at least I get my husk. Husk. Okay, now I'll just do it. I don't want all those guys attacking in case he has a crimson bull. They're all gone. Hooray. And why not kill you? Yay, board clear. And he definitely is packing. Puppy nutrition, so I'll keep my... Valuable creatures on separate rows. Okay, here comes a Crimson Bull, or... Does he get a Crimson Bull? No, maybe he's a Quake, so he just wants us to die to Quake. Uh... Well, had top deck there, oh well. I'm feeling a Quake, he's gonna Quake. I can't really do anything. Should I do damage curse just to do more idle damage? No, it's kind of stupid. Uh, just keep you in a separate row. A little bit of protection. Okay. So, our... Return to Nature's worked pretty well there. We have to clear his board, but now we already have sacked one and we've used two, so it's going to be a while until we get those back. It is wise to keep the Frost Scale now. There's a Puppet Nutrition. See, I... The reason I kept the Witch Doctor with another creature on the row is because... That's it. Why didn't he play... Harvester first. Whatever. Uh, I have a damning curse. Raw scale. Gonna sack, and we get an oblivion seeker. Okay, that's good. So now we want you to go right there. All right, two thirds chance that guy moves over that way. Go. Crap. Oh well. All right, because he this this deck has uh, has uh, kinfolk veterans and puppet soldier nutrition, so you have to protect your guys in front from like incoming three damage. But then they're it means in the same row, so that's what's going on. Uh. Do, 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 do. I don't want a damning curse. He's attacking next turn. I want to wait until I get like, maybe a harvester. I'll go life stealer. I'll go life stealer here. You there. You there. Just so maybe I can kill that harvester if he doesn't move it. Without having to use the damning curse. Okay. So now we got another damning curse. So let's see what we can do. I will sack the damning curse for. Or if we damning curse you, and then now we're gonna we're gonna. Sack for 
cards. Pub soldier. Nope. Oh, right, we got a harvester. Uh, let's see. I'll play the harvester because things are probably gonna die soon. And now I can go with three damage. Okay, I'll go like this. Uh, how do we make it so that guy stays? Oh man, hopefully he does not get like a puppet soldier nutrition this turn. There's one card in my hand, so the chances of that happening are very slim. Uh, da 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 da. Okay. No puppet, no puppet. And please move forward. This guy move here. Yay! Oh, that was, now he has three cards, so he could have a puppet nutrition. Okay. Oh, don't have a puppet nutrition. Sorry if I sound a little uh, weird here. I have a bit of a cold cough. Whatever. Languid. Makes that guy useless. Sister of the fox. You could still puppet nutrition. Could puppet nutrition and kill a lot of things. Let's pray. Let's pray. I have a damn curse, so if he doesn't make that harvester go this turn, it's definitely dead next turn. Okay. So, there's another harvester. I kind of wish I kept that other damn curse. Let's get it, see if we can get our third puppet soldier in this deck. We sacked two in the beginning, if you don't remember. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to sacrifice the life stealer for cards or the oblivion seeker. The life stealer. We get another harvester. And that's that's the play. Okay, so we're going for four damage on that idol. I'll go harvester. He definitely the puppet, so I'll put him back here. And then I'll go damning curse. And now I'll do some fancy maneuvering. And I think we're good. Alright. So, if he makes that harvester go off, the only thing he can kill is this Oblivion Seeker. Which isn't a huge deal, it actually kind of helps us. Okay, so now he's probably not going to kill that Oblivion Seeker because it's not any threat. So now I kind of want to kill that thing. So maybe I'll use a nutrition on it if I can't draw a puppet soon. And a Fertile Soil. Okay. Fertile Soils are huge in the late game. I wonder if he's going to add another Harvester. Right, we're both getting our Harvesters on the board here. I would like another Damon Curse. Alright. Let's see what we can do. We get a curse monger. All right, I'm going to sacrifice the. F no, I'm not sure what I want to do here. I kind of want another damning curse. All right, I'm going to sack the fertile soybeans, and we're not gonna close to playing it. Okay, we got a rod eater and a curse monger. Okay, I'm going to do that, so I'm going to view over just in case he dies. Oh, he definitely has a puppet soldier in nutrition now, so I'm going to... Put stuff 
in places where they're okay. Oh, I have to I have to start sacking some guys. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Okay. So his his puppet soldier nutrition that is coming this turn will at least buff this rod eater. Or I guess I'll go for this. All right, he languids. All right, maybe he doesn't have puppet soldier nutrition in this in his hand. He's eight cards. He there's a very good chance he has one. And that means this harvester would go off, so he could destroy two of these rows. Alright, he sacks for cards. So, ah, there goes my harvester. That's why I wish I got a damage curse last turn. And he does three damage. Alright. Come on. I need a, uh... I need a damage curse. He might have... I'm, man, okay, uh... Sack. No. Okay, not very good draws here. Kind of scary. Uh, let's go for a four and a three. So we'll go. I'll hit you. Um. Then I'll drop you there and you there. Okay. Please don't have another damning curse, man. I would. I had like three harvesters on the board. And he like about to destroy all of them, and I can't draw my da damning curse to get rid of his or a puppet soldier. But I had to sack those in the in the early game. I am doing much better on idle damage so far. Two idols are down to three health for him. See what he does. Alright, this harvester is definitely going off. And if it if he goes off, he's probably gonna be Oh, what am I doing? I left this harvester open to a uh kinfolk vet. That could be very bad. Please don't have a kinfolk vet. Okay, so now I guess he's gonna move this guy up, attack that row. And uh, at least now he can't kinfolk veteran. Wow. I could have made a huge mistake. I looked out there. Ugh. Now come on, I need I need a uh another nutrition. We know we need a um puppet soldier. There we go. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to kill that guy. So we're going to go with a... Or, do we, I don't have that brain lace anymore. Uh, I go for eight, kill you. No, I, oh, I can curse something and then hit it. Yeah, that, that's what I'll do. So now I'll just curse you. Hit you. Put you there. Play. Play. You. Move you back. Move you back. And. That works. And. Protect you. Okay. There we go. So good, good turn right there. What? What's he saying? Oh, yeah. You didn't know that you can curse, and then the Slayer ability. Activates. It makes sense if you read the cards, though. 
Okay. The Slayer only but the adds damage. Alright, he's not understanding, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, come on. Put a guy with this harvester so I can blow that line up. Return to nature, return to nature, kills my harvester, and that guy had no ID. Okay, now this, this row's getting blown up. Ooh, I got a harvester, okay. So, harvester, puppet soldier, wrong row! Crap. I wasn't paying attention. I'm stupid. Uh, okay, well then. That was a huge mistake. A very huge mistake. Um, so what do we want to do here? Crap. Uh, Okay, well, that was very, very bad. Oh, I'm not sure if you noticed why I put that there. Maybe he thought I actually put it there on purpose and I didn't have a nutrition. Man. Damn it. Okay, now they're both dead. That was huge. Alright, misplays by me and him this game. This is not a very good, well played game. I, either side. Okay. Well. Now I can nutrition if I want to. Uh, that would kill them too, yeah. Uh, do I want our nutrition yet? I can go with an Oblivion Seeker. And yeah, yeah, I'll just do this. Okay. I'll go with an Oblivion Seeker. There. Don't want this guy. Oh, he could have a puppet nutrition himself. So. Yeah, I'll go for it. I'll blow stuff up this turn. So now I go for 8. Destroys that idol. And you're attacking for 1. So we'll go like this. This guy move yet? He moved already. I'll play Oblivion Seeker. There. Okay. Man, this game is just a terrible game from both sides. They're both making so many mistakes. His mistake was huge with not knowing that the Slayer activates with Curse. And I just made a, I just wasn't paying attention and I clicked the wrong row with my puppet soldier. Boy. It doesn't, right now, it could come back to haunt me. We'll see though. I do look like I have the advantage in this game. He is, I'm about to destroy this idol unless he protects it. Rat King. Okay. You could have a Necrogeddon. Hopefully I get some return, my return to nature's back, because this is about time when the deck should re, uh, like, go through again. Oh boy. I just need any combination of, oh, yeah, a frost scale and a return to nature would be great. Or two frost scales or two return to nature, any combination of that. Any sex resources? 
Whoops. Another another misplay for one of us. What was the whoops? I wonder what the whoops was. Huh. Let's see. So that way he destroys that guy. Okay. I get some cards. And you're dead. Okay. Now, let's see. We get a Sister of the Fox, which I'm going to play. We get a Witch Doctor and a... You, uh... I'm going to get rid of the Brain Lice. Search nature, good. Okay. Um. You down. You. Down. No, you up. You there. You there. Okay. So, if we. Chances are, I think we're gonna get a Frost Scale or a Return to Nature in one or two turns before all these guys attack. Or you can have another Necrogenin, which wouldn't be too good. But, now I have a Witch Doctor, so Huss will summon everywhere. Alright, sorry about this, uh, not well-played game. <laughs> Many mistakes. I wonder what this guy- oh, there's a Damning Curse on my Witch. Which is actually, I, I'm actually happy with that. Now all those guys are dead, so just one return to nature. So if, if I can get a harvester, which I probably won't get because I have used my harvesters already, then that would be pretty amazing. Come on, just okay. So you're dead because I could just move this guy down. Okay. Um, now we gotta. Re Alright, we could just use this return to nature. I'm gonna keep the fertile soil now because it's time of the game that it might be pretty good. Sacrifice for cards. Oh, we got two return to natures. Should we use both this turn? That kills. No, I can kill them anyways. Okay, so. You go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. And then. I'll go. Why can't I play it? There it goes. Just to make a nice little surprise attack, I'll go with the Curse Monger up top. I'll play, the, yeah, Curse Monger. And then I'll go with the Return to Nature. And then I'll end the turn. That was fun. Those Return to Natures, they are so good against growth. They're also pretty good against Decay and stuff, but. Against growth, they are just godly. I do have another one, and I'm probably gonna get a fertile soil. And not fertile soil, I meant to say, um, uh, frost scale. Probably gonna get that soon, and he plays a blight bearer. Just inflicts poison on the row, everybody in the row after he dies. Okay, well, looks like my misplays aren't going to cost me this game, but I definitely have to work on those. Okay, and now here we go. Should I go for five? Yeah, that was huge. Okay, um. I'll go for, just so I could destroy that idol this next turn, I'm going to move you up, you down, you down. You can stay there, 
I'm going to languid you. I get another languid, which I'm going to, believe it or not, I'm going to use a little harvester. Okay, so what do we want to sack now? Uh, fertile soil, maybe? These are all cards I'm going to need. Uh, as much as I hate to say it, I'm going to sack the Oblivion Seeker for cards. And then I'll play the Harvester. And to prevent huge, like, puppets, I'm going to move you down. Play the Harvester here. Okay. So now, if he doesn't protect this idol, it's dead to the Curse Monger. And then... These idols are not looking too good. And I, I have a Damn Curse and a Return to Nature in my hand. So, for example, like this guy, this chump blocker is dead with it. Returns to nature. So. We're okay here. Maybe I should have moved this guy up. So he has the power to, to attack this idol. With this guy. We'll see though. We may get extremely lucky this game. By winning. Despite all our mistakes. Okay, good thing I didn't sack that damage curse. We're gonna want to use that on that guy. Okay. Sister of the Fox. I'll play that first. So that if I play a damage curse, then you and you die. That's three creatures are dead. Then he'll be at two. And then I could soul steal, right? Let's see. I can kill three creatures. Um, I can kill you, you, and you, and then I can do four with the soul. I can't kill. I can't kill five creatures to make this guy go off this turn. Okay. Uh, I'll go with the. What do I want to do? I'm going to sacrifice the brain lice. Get a life stealer and a curse monger. Okay, that's fine. I'll put the. I'll just move you up. I'll. Oh, that's stupid. I should have used the brain lice and cursed him. I, I used. I should have cursed him and put the brain lice on him. Then he'll just die in two turns. Too many misplays by me. Too many misplays. <laughs> Some sloppy unit placement there. Don't have my A game today. So, probably should have fertile soil last turn. So now I think we're only, but we can kill five units next turn. Turn to nature. Is he going to be able to kill three more creatures? I think you definitely can, and then take out my harvester, because that can change the game. And then I'm getting worried. Let's see, damn and curse on my heart. Okay, well, that does just the same. All right. Why do you say what WTF? I I must have missed something. I wasn't sure what happened. Did, did something weird happen? I'll have to relook at the uh, recording. Why did that not kill you, Harvester? What did you miss? Click. Well, now he's talking, so he might miss. Might not end his turn. He might not be able to move that Harvester down. Come on, don't move it down. Three, two. He didn't move it down. What is he doing? Why didn't he move that dad down? Well, four is it GG then? Uh, I guess so.
Alright, this is interesting. Um, just doing this for fun. Uh, da, da, da. And let's kill you. Because I don't like you. Alright. Well, GG then. That was GG. Oh, that was an interesting game. Alright, I'm almost at 2100 rating. And let's see if we moved up. Actually, that's probably not a good way to check because this probably didn't update. Number 22, we moved up a spot. Splendid. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. I'll try to do more videos um, shortly so I can have more consistency on my channel. So, I thank you all for watching. Any ratings would be much appreciated. And I'll see you all next time.